guys! Welcome to my class! Our lesson for today is one of the branch of pure mathematics and it is algebra. And our topic for today is about variables and expressions. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe so that you will be kept updated on the next math lesson. Then, like and share so that you can also help other students. We are going to learn today how to evaluate one-step expressions and how to interpret multi-step expressions. Algebra is a system of mathematics where letters and symbols are used to represent quantities written as formula and equations. Variable is a symbol which is usually written as a letter and represents many numbers. Algebraic expression is an expression made up of integers, constants, variables, and the mathematical operations. The mathematical operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Evaluate is to identify or find the amount. While interpret is to find, to explain, or to make something clear. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Evaluate 27 plus x if x is equal to 18. Let us write the equation 27 plus x below. And we know that x is equal to 18, right? Therefore, we're just going to substitute the value of x in the equation and it will give us 27 plus 18, which is equal to 45. Accordingly, 27 plus x is equal to 45 if x is equal to 18. Let us work on another example so that you can understand it well. Evaluate a minus b if a is equal to 88 and b is equal to 23. We are going to write the equation below, which is a minus b. Then, we're going to substitute the value of a and b in the equation. Therefore, we're going to replace a with 88 and b with 23. And it will give us 88 minus 23. Correspondingly, it will give us 65. a minus b is equal to 65 if a is 88 and b is 23. Let us work on another example so that you can hit it off. Evaluate 12a if a is equal to 1 third. Let us write the equation 12a below. Then we're going to substitute the value of a in the equation. We can find the common factor of the whole number in the denominator, which is 12 and 3. And the common factor is 3. So, how many 3 in 3? There's 1 3 in 3. And how many 3 in 12? There's 4 3s in 12. Accordingly, multiplying 4 and 1 will give us 4. Therefore, 12a is equal to 4 if a is equal to 1 third. On that account, we have learned how to evaluate one-step expressions. Now, let us study how to interpret multi-step expressions. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Evaluate 3y plus 9 if y is equal to 5. Let us write the equation below so that we can work on it. We are just going to substitute the value of y in the equation. Since y is equal to 5, it will give us 3 times 5 plus 9. 3 times 5 is 15. We can add now the 9 to the 15. And it will give us 24. Therefore, 3y plus 9 is equal to 24 if y is equal to 5. Let us work on another example so that you can hit it off. Evaluate 3y squared plus 9 if y is equal to 5. Let us write the equation 3y squared plus 9 so that we can start working on it. Substituting the value of y in the equation which is 5, it will give us 3 times 5 squared plus 9. 
5 square is 5 times 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. Therefore, it will give us 3 times 25 plus 9. 3 times 25 is 75, and it will give us 75 plus 9, which is 84. Therefore, 3y squared plus 9 is equal to 84 if y is equal to 5. It is easy, right? Let us work on another example so that you can perfectly understand the lesson. Evaluate 15y plus 9 if y is equal to 2 thirds. Let us write the equation below 15y plus 9. Substituting the value of y in the equation, it will give us 15 times 2 thirds plus 9. 15 and 3 have common factors and it is 3. Therefore, there's 1 3 in 3. And there's 5 3's in 15. Simplifying the equation, we can come up with 5 times 2 plus 9. 5 times 2 is 10, so it will give us 10 plus 9. The answer to the expression 15y plus 9 is equal to 19 if y is equal to 2 thirds. It is easy, right? Therefore, we have met our goal for today's lesson. We have learned how to evaluate one-step expressions and we have learned how to interpret multi-step expressions. To wrap it up, if you are given an expression, just substitute the value of the variable in the given expression and you can find the answer. Likewise, if you are given a multi-step expression, just do the same. Substitute the given value of the variable in the expression and you can find the answer easily. It is easy. To conclude our lesson for today, I want you to always remember what His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahayan, may his soul rest in peace, wrote for us. Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. Sheikh Zayed wrote and left this quote for us so that the youth will always remember the importance of education. His code will hand it down from generation to generation. But the genuine concern of Sheikh Zayed for his nation will always remain and be realized by the future generation. And to encapsulate our lesson for today, I want you to always remember that life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you cannot convert the negatives into positive. I do hope you have learned a lot for today's lesson and you find it easy. Till next math lesson, catch you later guys. See ya!